I feel so poor when I walk here. I am literally just trying to get to an arts and crafts store and it is taking me all across this place. Google Maps, useless. Their website, useless. I hate the city. I never want to come back. It is super hot. And that'll be my food for the day. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. We're gonna use the hat to collect money, money container. Someone give me a flower. I'm not gonna be able to record everything. I think I'm sick. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the next episode here on the Ultimate Penny Challenge on Life's Adventures. Today is Valentine's. Day for the romantic, day for the loving, day for the couples, and we're gonna ruin it. If you watched the ending of yesterday's episode, we ended it with starting our walk to our next destination. And our next destination is 8.3 miles away. We currently have four more miles to walk. So in today's episode, we are starting with a four mile walk and hopefully, by the time we get there, it'll be somewhat morning so we can get inside because currently it is 1 a.m. Now, if you're a fan of the series, I would be so appreciative if you could go down, comment, like, share, subscribe, do the whole YouTube thing. It helps the series so much. And honestly, it keeps me going throughout the series. Oh my God, I am sunburnt still like bad. But while we're walking, let me tell you about this series. The Ultimate Penny Challenge is a 365 episode series uploaded daily here on YouTube. In this series, we started with nothing but a pair of shorts, a t-shirt, a penny, and our camera equipment. And we have survived off this for the entire year of 2024. And we will continue to do so for the remaining days of the year. This penny challenge is the biggest YouTube series anyone has ever seen. Now the purpose of this series is to help an amazing charity organization called Family Promise. This charity organization helps people that are homeless get off the streets, get them into a proper job, get their children into proper education and extracurriculum classes. This charity is going to help so many people and your donations will go a huge, huge way. So thank you to everyone who's donated everyone who's watched the series and everyone who subscribed you are helping so many people so thank you and let's get on today's video I am currently walking through what has to be one of the richest neighborhoods I have ever seen every single house here is gated in every single house plus each one has a padlock I'm not a padlock uh, a code and everyone's got like mansions and like I feel so poor when I walk here I don't want to walk no more I can't feel my feet I don't want to walk no more, my legs really hurt. I don't want to walk no more, I can see my breath. <sighs> it's been a long day. Look at this. We finally made it to a spot that's like, has, well, stores and everything. We're no longer walking through the rich people neighborhoods. We have one more mile of walking before we're at our destination. It's really cold. So I'm gonna see if there's like a gas station on the way that we can stay in because currently it is 3.45 in the morning. A lot of the gas stations have like seating areas. I should probably get out of the road. A lot of gas stations have like seating areas for their like mini restaurants they have in there. So hopefully we can stay in there and stay warm. We have made it my friends. We are at the Galleria. This is pretty much an outdoor and indoor mall. Go look at the last two bigger places we've been to, Katie Mills and La Santera. Those were the two like, pretty big areas we've been to. Bring them together. That, that's literally what the gallery is. It is massive, absolutely massive. Oh my God, the lights. Is it motion censored? No, okay. We need to figure out a, a way inside. Obviously, we can't go in now. We're gonna find a place to kind of chill out because there was no gas station on that last mile. Oh my God, it feels amazing to sit down. <laughs> we are going, oh my God. This is like Whoville hair. What is happening? I need to fix this. So we're just gonna sit out here for this place to open up. I really don't like sleeping in the city. When I was over at Katie Mills or La Santera, I'm like, okay, sleep here, sleep there, no big deal. While I'm in Houston, I'm really trying to just stay awake the whole time because I don't feel comfortable sleeping out here. I'm extremely tired, like extremely tired, but I'd rather go like this, sleep deprived, than sleep. The Galleria will be open in a, like four hours. Welcome to the Galleria Mall. I'm trying to walk over to a place that sells a poster. I ended up in a parking garage somehow. This mall is like separated and I don't know where I am. 
because Google Maps told me this way, but Google Maps led me into a parking garage. So, I think it's like the other section of the mall. I can't wait to leave the city. It is so ridiculously hard to find a place to sleep, which obviously I know they don't want you to sleep here, but oh my God, I need some sleep. I got some, just barely, but not enough. I don't know if these sections are like the same mall, but they are not connected via inside. I'm so confused. This mall is massive. It's like five Katie Mills. I don't know what floor I'm going to. I didn't press any buttons and I don't know what floor it's on. I'm just gonna get out. If we're on the right floor, we're on the right floor. Perfect. This is all construction. Where am I? I am literally just trying to get to an arts and crafts store and it is taking me all across this place. Google Maps, useless. Their website, useless. I hate the city, I never wanna come back. It is not fair if outside levels are connected to certain inside levels, but certain inside levels are not connected to certain outside levels, and every level is connected to a different level of the mall. You're telling me that the store labeled office supplies on both Google Maps and the website for this mall is a modern art store? Office supplies is what it's labeled as. Even the name has office supplies in it, but it's a modern, art shop i don't know what all right we're gonna go walk somewhere else i hate the city i will never live in the city as long as i live i was born in middle of nowhere that should not be that tall that should be like three that should be like three stories max what the heck i hate the city so much Okay, it might have been half a mile away, but we got a $1.07 poster. And you wanna know what's ridiculous? We're in the big city area and this cost $1.07. When we were in La Santera, like I said, the rich people area, it was $1.50 for a worse poster. I see a Jamba Juice right here and that's like the only restaurant. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna just get a water cup. And if they have cheap smoothies, I want a cheap smoothie because it is super hot. And that'll be my food for the day. Let's go. <coughs> oh my God, let's go. Okay, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I don't know where to hide it, and I need to hide it for a while, just until we're finished with the posters. There's cars watching real quick, one sec. Oh my god, my... One, when we went to Jamba Juice, I could not get a drink, that was way too expensive, so I just got a water. But while we were in there, we wrote on our poster board, and now why are we writing on this poster board? Let's see if this works. I'm hoping this will be really funny and people will laugh because the Jamba Juice employees were laughing while I was making it. So maybe. Let's go see if this works inside the mall. We're gonna use the hat to collect money, money container, and then every time we get like five or so dollars, we'll put it in our pocket and then leave one dollar in there so it looks like there's something. Because I got sunburnt yesterday, that's why I've been wearing my hood all day. It is freezing. It's hot outside, but I'm freezing because of the stupid sunburn. That's why I wanted a Jamba Juice so bad. I'm like sweating, but I'm like shivering at the same time. So let's go inside. People's reactions are hilarious. The guys try so hard to avoid eye contact the whole time. They try so hard to like turn their girl away, anything. It's hilarious. Someone gave me a flower. Just gave the rose to these people taking photos. So now they're doing a little photo shoot with my rose. The mall has been closed, and you know what I realized? I need a cameraman. I need a cameraman so bad. I'm not gonna be able to record everything. I'm not gonna be able to get the best shots because I need a cameraman. That's the honest thing. I can't get one. Sorry. These videos would be so much better if I did because if you saw the reactions, like the guys, they, they look down at the sign and they're like, oh, and they like, almost like push their girlfriend away. And it's so funny. And sometimes they laugh, sometimes they have a good remark, but no one was mad before anyone starts hating in the comments. Nobody was mad. So that's important. How much did we make? A total of $11. Is this something to go do as like a business? No, it is not. It is purely entertainment. And that's really what I wanted today's episode to be was purely entertainment. That was quick, fun. And now tomorrow we can go back to actually doing stuff. But I did not walk the entire time that mall was open. I sat down for obviously the nap this morning, but then like, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but 
Yesterday's sunburn has me super cold and that has resulted in both a stuffy nose like crazy, running it all day and I hate my nose right now. And also my cough is extremely bad right now. Can't say it was the funnest day, especially when I do this. Like this hurts my skin because I'm sunburnt. Anyway, let's find somewhere to go. I think I'm sick. I am coughing like crazy. I am sneezing every two minutes. I feel like I still have a burning sunburn. Now, where are we exactly? We crossed the street from the mall and there was a hotel. We asked him, can I sit in the lobby just for a moment to charge my phone? And this place is massive. They said, yeah, just sit in the dining area. They said you can stay for like an hour and a half. Well, it's been two hours and I've charged my phone all the way. We're in a corner. We're just gonna see if they let us stay all night. I'm not sleeping to make their lobby look bad. And besides, I feel too sick to sleep anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Today was a little different than usual and I tried to mix it up and make more of like a funny episode. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, camera angles. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do when it comes to recording these videos because I can record all day. The only problem is getting people's interactions as I'm interacting with them. That is the number one problem of the, the series. We'll see what happens. Anyway, love you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow in day 46, right? Adios.